So people are unhappy about this. And let's be real about this. It's insane that we haven't raised the retirement age in the United States. It's oh. totally crazy. Oh. Joe Biden, if that were the case, Joe Biden should not be running for president. Hey, Joe Biden is 81 years old. The retirement age in the United States at which you start to receive so Social Security and you are eligible for Medicare is 65. Joe Biden has technically been eligible for Social Security and Medicare for 16 years. And he while. wants to continue in office until he is 86, which is 19 years past when he time. would be eligible for retirement. No one in the United States should be retiring at 65 years old. Frankly, I think retirement itself is a stupid idea unless you have some sort of health problem. Everybody that I know who is, who is elderly, who has retired, is dead within five years. And if you talk to people... If you ever thought that maybe they had to retire because they had an illness or they had something wrong with them and their health was declining, that's why they retired. So you have kind of a confirmation bias based off of that because most of the people that have to retire exactly at 65 or early like that is because they have a problem. Because, like, this is the thing, right? This has to be AI. You think it's AI? It's a deep fake? What if he's just an asshole, though? Go to his Twitter, it's not fake. Oh, we're going to get to the bottom of this. I blew up the internet because of something. Okay. It's real. There it is. It's real. Now, I actually think that it's, a, it's true that it's, like, not necessarily a great idea. Like, I have seen people do this, right? And it's probably a good idea to keep working if you can or to keep active if you can. I actually think that's great. That's, that's a good thing. Because, uh, you know, if you're, if you're not doing anything, then your body is going to decay. You're not staying active. You're not engaging with people regularly. I think that there's, like, some truth to what he's saying. And, like, for me, I never want to retire either. Fuck that. Why would I want to retire? I like streaming. What, what am I going to do? Am I just going to, like, stop making content? Like, what the fuck? Why would I just randomly stop doing that? So, yeah, it's just a, it's an option. But yeah, I, I agree. I don't think you should if you if you I, I think you should I, like hopefully. Right. I mean, by the time you're 65, you should have something that you love doing and, and hopefully you keep doing it. But like the idea that like you shouldn't be allowed to retire is crazy. People who are elderly and they lose their purpose in life by losing their job and they stop working. Things go to hell in a handbasket real quick. But put all of that aside just on a fiscal level and on a logical level. Yeah. When Franklin Delano Roosevelt established 65 as the retirement age, the average life expectancy in the United States was 63 years old. Yeah, what was the infant mortality, though, right? Because, like, that's another factor. Like, a lot of times you have, uh, like, infant mortality rates or, like, different types of, like, really bad diseases that, like, pull down that number a lot. Today, the average life expectancy in the United States is close to 80. It's total. By the way, the life expectancy is, from what I've heard, has actually been going down. Really insane. That you believe that you should be able to work from the time that you are essentially 20 to the time that you yeah. are 65, which is a 45-year period. Right. Pay in, and then you will receive Social Security benefits sufficient to support you and your family, you and your wife or whatever, for like another 20 years. That's crazy talk. Yeah. That is not fiscally sustainable. Well, it's going to have to be because it's going to happen no matter what. Uh, this is what's going to happen e even even without Social Security. Like the problem is that there are too few people that create too much value in the society because of the way that technology has evolved to allow that to happen. And you have to divide it out more or you just can't like a lot of people are just going to you're going to well, you could kill everybody. I mean, you could do that would definitely solve a lot of problems. Right. Bring in like a new version of covid that like kills like half of the people. And this would solve a ton of problems. But unless you do that, then, you know, you're going to have a big problem. The notion that if you have to raise the retirement age to 67 or 68, that everyone is going to fall apart. My parents are that age. My parents are not retired. And they shouldn't retire. It would be very bad for them to retire. Mm -hmm. By the way, it's disrespectful to people who are 67, 68, 69 years old to suggest that they are in the same shape as people who are 65 were in 1940. It's not true at all. I think it probably depends, right? And so there's plenty of people that are like 60 and they're mentally and physically 80. And there's people that are 60 and they're mentally and physically 40. There's like a huge spectrum to that. Like, yeah, I, I don't know. Have you met a 65 year old lately? 65 year olds are not old in the United States. They're not. Six My mom was 65. She was old. The eight year olds are not old in the United States.
She was. Again, Joe Biden thinks he's not old, and that dude is running for president again, and that dude actually is old, and he's 81. Joe Biden, though, is like a super fucking extreme example. This dude was into fitness for his whole life, and he's still doing push-ups and shit whenever he's in his 80s. Like, that is, a, a, like, and this dude's been, like, in public office, like, flying around doing shit. Like, a, that dude is a massive fucking outlier. It's the same as Trump. Trump is a huge fucking outlier, too. Like, you shouldn't look at them and make a decision off of them. I remember, like, my dad told me, like, he was at the, uh, he was at the grocery store or some shit, and he talked to some dude, and this dude was in, like, a wheelchair, he was, like, really fucked up and everything, and the guy was a Vietnam vet, and my dad's a Vietnam vet, and he's like, yeah, this dude, like, wasn't even able to drive himself home or something like that, and, like, my dad was like, fuck, man, this guy's the same age as I am. He's like, oh, God. Yeah, bro. Like, and even I get that sometimes. Like, I'll hear friends of mine talking about the the guy in the wheel, the Austin wheelchair one. Yeah, yeah. And what's this here in Austin? Oh, the guy in Austin, the wheelchair. Yes, the guy. Um, whenever we went to, we got barbecue. Yeah, exactly. I remember that really well. They must also get the best healthcare in the world, probably. Well, also, like, you have genetics plays like a massive role. Like, for example, like, I, I don't know, I'm not sure about every family member that I have, but like a lot of them are still working and they're pretty close to like, you know, late 60s, 70s as well. But I think it's, again, a, kind of a fucking outlier. It's not very normal. Genetics and money, uh, money's a huge factor. Yeah. I, I failed to see how a country in which our entire leadership yeah. class is 80 plus is telling you that we should have a retirement age of 65. It makes no sense at all. And because they're super, they're super fucking uh, extreme examples. Like, I find it to be kind of astonishing that, like, Nancy Pelosi is still out there. Bro, this lady is, like, 90. How fucking old is she? She's, no, she's 83 years old. That's fucking crazy. That she's still going out, going on airplanes, drinking, getting drunk on airplanes, doing all of this shit at 80, 83 years old. Holy fuck, man. That's not the norm. That is not a norm. Social security. What, what's what's his point? Social security is a Ponzi scheme. It's going to bankrupt the country. It's a free country. If you have the money to retire and you want to, it's your choice. But a large part of about working and fulfilling life is, is working. Sending the elderly out to pasture and wither away is not how we were created to live. I mean, that to be fair, that is actually what they used to do. But um, so yesterday, I apparently blew Jesus up Christ, the, internet. Watch the whole thing. I blew up the Internet because it's something that I said on this show. What exactly did I say that blew up the internet? Well, I touched the political third rail. I talked about social yeah. security. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's so spicy about social security? And I will admit, I was thinking the same thing because there is a few simple facts in the matter with regard to social security. One, we don't have the money for it, and it's a Ponzi scheme. And two, with regard to sort of the- I just, I see like the solution to that is get more money. Like that, that's my perspective, right? Is that if like this, this mindset, I think it's just like totally wrong because like you have to get more money. The Social Security is, is going to be the norm for everybody. Like, what do you think? Like, after everything gets automated and everybody's job is obsolete, what do you think people are going to do? Nothing. What the fuck? So, like, what are you going to do with these people? You, you, do we get them together and kill them? Like, I don't know. People who need the health care can't just get more money. They can't work. I'm not. No, no. You Did you? Uh, did, did I break your programming? I'm sorry. Um, what I what I was saying is that the government needs to get more money, not that the individual people that don't have any money need to get it. Like, that's clearly what I said. Yeah, you get more money. I was referring to the government getting more money, not the people getting more money. Okay, Mr. So, yeah, try not to uh, try not to assume too much. Okay.